Okay, so here's a quick review of the Run IQ. The New Balance Run IQ. This watch, I picked it up a few days ago on eBay. Uh, the watch price has dropped drastically the past, I think about three weeks ago, I noticed it dropped down to um, 200 bucks from your typical retailer. And if you get on eBay and you hunt real hard and you submit some offers on some buy it nows uh, this one I got for $130 shipped not too bad for a smartwatch um, I'll start out with a little bit of background on my fitness and why I picked this watch you see I got my Moto 360 sitting here this is kind of this one's kind of replacing this one I'll go into detail on that but uh, I'm not super active. I do do runs outside from time to time. And when I do that, when I go for a run outside with just me and my dog, I will put Bluetooth headphones on and I want to connect the watch to my Bluetooth headphones. And I want to be able to leave my cell phone behind. Um, and I can do that with both of these. The Moto 360 did that very well where I could just connect the watch. Uh, to the Bluetooth headphones, click on the GPS with the heart rate monitor, take off running. It did a really good job of that. Um, I don't know why Motorola refuses to make another one. They did a, I think they did a great job with this one. Um, what did I expect when I got this one? I expected it to do what this one did, but I wanted it wanted a better screen. Uh, I wanted. Uh, battery life was getting a little short on this one and I wanted a little bit better battery life and I also wanted to be able to replace the bands which I can with this one this one does have replaceable bands um, the Moto 360 I've had this one seven eight months now I used it all through the summer uh, and oh I forgot to note that most of the time I am running and exercising indoors now I'm here in Ohio weather's getting crappy I joined Planet Fitness and so most of the time with the Moto 360 I would use the Moto app which had an indoor run feature and I would just click that on and I would do weightlifting elliptical treadmill they've got uh, what are they called an arc trainer in there and the Moto 360 app worked very well for that it would sync with uh, Strava it would upload my activity to Strava it would also upload my activity to Google Fit and to my pit my fitness pal uh, uh, that system worked very well what I was having issues with is now this watch is starting to become kind of finicky it's running Android 2.0 but it's becoming kind of finicky uh, from time to time it will um, disconnect from my phone uh, sometimes I've been having a glitchy issue where the Bluetooth is still on, but um, there's the Moto Fit app. The Bluetooth will still be on, but it's not passing an internet connection back and forth, and then my stuff doesn't sync until I get home and it hits Wi-Fi. So here's my indoor, so I would just tap indoor run start my indoor run and then it would start right and I would click over and then it gave me my nice heart rate zones here obviously it's not correct there's the sensor running and then and and then I will cancel the save and save it anyway anyway that's enough about that it's a great watch so what did I so what's wrong with this watch I'll start right off the bat with the size it is huge and that is one of the big disappointments this Moto 360 was nice and slim I'll set this one on top of this one you can see nice and slim nice and tiny and also when you look at the front of the watches the bezels compared there you go, you can compare the bezels. Uh, 
if they would just get rid of the huge bezel on this watch, we would be leaps and bounds ahead. Uh, Motorola did a good job with this band. I never had issues with this band. Uh, I expected to. It's starting to chip a little bit there. You can see just bits and pieces of chips, but it never broke. And I, I beat this thing. I go out in the garage and I work on the motorcycles and the cars and stuff with this thing on my wrist, get it gas doused on it and oil and grum and grime and wad it up, put it into my uh, jacket when I go to get on a motorcycle, get it out, and it's just fine. I mean, it's held up pretty nice. Uh, I haven't done all that with this one because it's it's big. If I start working on something, I, I'd take the thing off and stick it in my pocket or set it, up, set it aside. Um, and also, when it is on my wrist, I mean, the other issue is, uh, if you look where Motorola placed this button, you see where the button is, when it's on your wrist, and you roll your wrist back, you're not going to push that button. Take a look at where these buttons are. We've got three buttons. Now, I like the idea of having multiple buttons, because I can quick launch things with these buttons. This one and this one will quick launch. This one goes into the apps. Nice and smooth menu. Um, but the issue is, is now I get this giant thing on my wrist and I feel it. Now I haven't um, accidentally pushed the button yet. It's been pretty good about that. But the thing's just big. And what I find myself now, I will use this one when working out and exercising. But I'm still coming back to this one to wear from day to day for my uh, notifications and whatnot. Um, the sensors and accuracy. The heart rate sensor seems more accurate than this one. It is bigger. Um, I have less issues with it. And also the uh, accelero uh, yeah, the accelerometers uh, seem more accurate with this one, counting the steps better and the motions. Um, for the apps, what I use, I use Google Fit with this with this watch when I'm out exercising so I will if I'm on the treadmill I'll tap treadmill it won't use the GPS it'll use it'll use uh, the accelerometers to count the motions it's got the heart rate sensor there's the heart rate sensor it's a bigger sensor than this one so obviously it's gonna track it a little bit better So we'll go ahead and pause and run. I'll clear those out later. Google Fit will not sync with Strava automatically. But I am able to get Google Fit to sync with uh, my fitness pal, which is good. Um, it will, for some reason, Google Fit, I don't think, has an option to sync with uh, Facebook. That was one thing I liked about this one. It would sync to Strava, and then Strava would automatically upload to Facebook. I kind of like, you know, if if you didn't track it, you didn't do it kind of deal. Uh, processors. I think this one has the Snapdragon 400. It is definitely getting slow and choppy. It will crash an app every once in a while. When I go for a run outside now, and I ask it to play MP3s and track my steps with Strava, track my location with Strava, I'm pushing it. It may crash, it takes a while to get it up and running and going. It may crash on me, but typically if I get it going here at the house and kind of don't mess with it, just start to run and end the run and it'll save, it'll work. But getting all that to work. Now this one, I have not done a standalone run with the GPS, but I have used... Uh, the Bluetooth uh, to sync directly to the headphones and it was kind of choppy not as smooth plain Bluetooth as this one was um, this one has an Intel processor the only one of the few watches out there with an Intel processor it is much quicker than the Moto 360 much much quicker uh, battery life that's pretty good. Yesterday, uh, no, it was the day before, I got up, did a workout, came home, sat it on my table. I did not put it back on the charger. Um, and I think it was, that was like a 
hour workout, no GPS, so it was down to like 80%, come home, work the whole day, come home, and I put it on the charger about 7 or 8 o'clock, and it was still at about 30-40%. I don't need it to last any longer than that, that's fine with me, um, but that was the first time it did not sync with the charger properly, and the next morning I woke up and it was down to like 18%. Went and did a workout at 18% and I was able to complete the whole workout, come home and it was down to 7%. So that was good. Then I was able to complete the whole workout without the watch dying. I put it on the charger and I went ahead and used my backup Motorola the rest of the day. Uh, the chargers. Wireless charging. Awesome. Never had an issue with it connecting and it worked great just I love being able to just drop the thing on there don't worry about it also the charger the wireless charger the Motorola sent with me came with a charging brick means a lot this new balance watch did not come with a charging brick in the box I got this this and then there was also a cable so I had to go out and find my own charger brick that's becoming kind of rare these days any kind of electronic tablet or phone or most of your phones come with the charging brick the wall wart but these kind of devices are it's becoming kind of rare to get the charging brick with it so now i actually had to go out on ebay and buy the charging brick separate another five or ten bucks for a decent charger um, to charge this watch with so there is it's a micro usb it's got these pogo pins set up so it is magnetic so when you clip it on see snaps right on um, and those and those connect now as you just seen it'll you'll hear it click but it ain't connecting you gotta kind of wiggle it get it on there the other thing that worries me is I had a Garmin watch that had these pogo pins and after about a year of use connection here started getting a little iffy um, so we'll see how that lasts I just wish it was wireless charging a few less issues better waterproof just better all around uh, let's see and uh, I already talked about the price I've covered all my topics here um, the screen let's see you want to see the screen up close very good, decent screen for the, you got to remember you're paying about a hundred and fifty dollars for this watch. I paid a hundred for this one used uh, in February or so. This one I paid a hundred and thirty for. This watch was released in February for three hundred dollars. They just dropped the price to an official two. $199. You can go into Best Buy and get it for $199, but you can get them, and I bought this one new for $130. So, not a refurb, but there's the watch. And you see it scrolls through the feeds pretty quickly. Go into a workout, loads quickly. Oh, and then the shortcuts. You can set these. I have this one set to go right into a Google Fit, this one set to go right into music. And this button will only control the music from the f from the watch. You're looking at the watch app, the Google Music Watch app. So if I come into the Google Music Watch app, music play, play music, and it's it says it's connected to my Wi-Fi is what it's connected to, and then come in my library and see it loads fairly quickly playlist thumbs up and this one check mark that's because I've loaded it into the watch it's got four gigs of four gigs of uh, memory on it so there you've seen kind of how fast that one ran let's try this one Kind of, kind of choppy. What is music? You go fit. Play 
store. I don't know where to go. Oh, right there. So we'll wait, 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 wait. Are we going to load? There it comes. See the, see the difference between how fast this one is? This one, that, that Intel processor is decent. I will, I will give it credit. I would rather have the newer Snapdragon one. Also, I can tell you, they both run Android Wear, right? Now, they're both running Android Wear 2.0. There are differences. I wish that wasn't true. I wish we could just get, like, a vanilla Android Wear version. Um, see how long it's taken to load these things. I think I have some pinned on here. Yeah, see, this one's pinned also. And if we get in here... Yeah, see, this one looks a little different than that one, and I don't understand why that's doing that. Both watches are up to date. So, anyway, I'm still looking for the perfect watch. I want one this size, GPS, standalone GPS, a better heart rate monitor, battery life... This one used to last me all day. No problem. Now we've got a little bit of an issue. Um, I'll come home at the end of the day after a workout in the morning. Just as, just like before I described it, I would come home at the end of the day and it would be down around 12-15%, which is a little too shy at 7 8 o'clock because if i got stuff to do after work, this one won't cut it. This one will go ahead and I think it will make it the rest of the day. I'm still, I, I don't know if I'll sell this one off or not. This one's sticking around. I mean, you can pick these things up for 50 bucks, and that is a killer price for the for these units right here. Uh, you can pick a decently used one or refurbed one for 50 bucks, and shoot, the thing works fine for 50 bucks. GPS is accurate. The sensors are halfway decent. The heart rate monitor is eh. I come, come across some cases where it doesn't want to read my wrist very well. Um, this one I haven't had issues. So, that's that. Any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to compare them. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, but there's not too many reviews out there on this one. 